Hi, my name is Pontus Sandgren. I work as a CTP or product specialist in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I work with Cognos BI as focus area. And today I want to show you a really cool Windows gadget uh, that contains um, uh, BI content. It's really cool. Uh, actually, I have done it with uh, Cognos Mashup Service, that is a part of uh, the SDK for Cognos. Uh, it's only HTML and JavaScript, so it's quite easy to, uh, to uh, customize it. And uh, it was real fun to, to, to make this uh, kind of mashup. Anyway, if I right click on my uh, desktop, uh, I got this gadget, it's uh, standard in Windows 7 and I think it's the same in, in, in Windows Vista. Now I created a Cognos gadget gadget and I have a beta stamp over it because I'm not, I'm not ready with it. It certainly have some bugs in it. But anyway, I drag this into my desktop and I got this, uh, get this uh, gadget on my desktop. And please enter authentication uh, information in settings. So I've done this options. And <clears throat> this is general settings. Uh, first we have a URL to the BI server and then Cognos namespace, then username and password and report ID and then re refresh frequency. So, but you can uh, push this add sample data. So it's easy to understand what kind of data it is. Uh, so this is URL. And uh, in my demo, I, I use Eric Exec and I uh, use reports. Actually, it's regular reports, but they have to be 200 times 200 pixels uh, in size because otherwise it uh, will not look so good. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> uh, ref refresh frequency, if I set this to 10 seconds, 10 seconds is ridiculous, of course. Uh, in in uh, real life, it should be once a day or maybe twice a day. Okay, press OK. Then <clears throat> it uh, actually it, uh, go to the uh, BI server and get this report, revenue in millions. And it will refresh this uh, report gadget every 10 seconds. Um, so, how do I... Wh where is the report? If I go to public folders, I have done three different gadgets. That one we are looking at right now is uh, revenue per quarter and product category. And it looks like this. It's quite simple. It's a regular report. So I go back. But one cool thing is that it's you can administer it centrally. So if I open up, open it up in Report Studio, and allow access, ah, like that. And if I just uh, choose to convert chart into, um, let's say, um, like uh, bars, cylinders, like that, press OK, and just hit the Save button. And next time it will refresh, it will get the new report with cylinders instead. But I like the... Uh, the way that it looked like, so I just press save. One other cool thing is that you can drag in more than one gadget, of course. So I take this one and bring in another gadget, and instead I use the same sample data, but instead of this report ID, I will um, choose uh, this one, top five countries. And report ID, you have that there, and that is the report ID. I copy that one, close, close, and paste it into settings. And I set it to 10 seconds as well. 
Now we have one gadget. One more gadget on my desktop. So I have two gadgets here. And of course I can set, if I right click on this one, I can set opacity to uh, like 40%. So if I, uh, and I can set it to uh, always on top, top of course. So if I have uh, some content on the desktop, it's always on top. I don't, I don't know if that is good, but it's possible. It's a standard Windows gadget. And opacity, I want it to be 100%, of course. Um, of course, it's possible to, if I set the, the refresh frequency to once a day or something like that, but I want to reload it. Again, I can just hit this reload button and it will uh, refresh the report. I can also log out from the system. Press log out and press that one, log out. So I'm logged out from, from the BI server and I do not have a session anymore. Um, how about the code? Um, let's look at it. It's quite simple. Um, you can download this uh, gadget from uh, cognosblogan.se slash cognosgadget.zip. Um, we have it in program files and oh, sorry, uh, Windows sidebar gadgets and Cognos gadget. And actually, if we open it up in Notepad, it's just JavaScript and uh, some HTML in the end. And it's, um, of course, it's a settings file. So let's look at that one. And here I have the sample data. This is the, uh, the URL from uh, our demo image. Um, and then the the uh, user credentials. So, some uh, pictures. It's very easy to customize it. Feel free to use it for, for yourself and uh, in your demos and in production as well, of course. Um, let's hit the... I can add mini straighter. So now I'm logged in as an administrator and I can log in actually as, as Eric Exec here if I want to. Then I have two sessions on the BI server. It's quite cool. I think it's a lovely little mashup. Thanks.